<laughs> been on my mind couldn't tell you why <laughs> i couldn't imagine anyway yeah so hello everybody thank you so very much for joining us it is outstanding to have you my name is chris otherwise known as wolfie and we are live once again with massively overpowered op tv it is a sandbox saturday which i'm hosting for once uh, because MJ is still enjoying a chateau in France, because that's just how fancy she is. <laughs> the Queen of Stream has finally gone home. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, today, um, <laughs> seven days the f yeah, I, yeah, for sure. I agree, Toaster Master. Also, hello to Toaster and to Average Teacup. Wonderful to both have you here. So yeah, Sandbox Saturday is live with some Pow World, um, and I have the distinct pleasure of being joined by my very best friend in the whole heckin' world, the matriarch herself, Britannia. Hello, Brito. Hello. It was very pleasantly surprising. I knew you were covering for MJ all week, but then you, I saw Pow World up, and I'm like, <gasps> <Yes>. <laughs> Yeah, so... Um, this game has been on my mind because next week, the 27th, I believe, the uh, the, the new island is going to open up. Um, yes. I saw the trailer for that uh, last night or the night before, and I was just like, wow, that looks really cool. It really does. So this game just suddenly just leapt to the forefront of my brain. And and since it's, it's always Sandbox Saturday uh, here on OPTV, far be it for me to break tradition, right? So, so true. So true. So, yes. Pals, indeed, Deviant Fish. Hello. Good to see you, too. So, uh, yeah, we're we're starting from, from completely square one. Uh, com totally brand new uh, characters. Uh, this is on a uh, custom server setup, so things are a little more relaxed, but not to the point where things are, like, completely face roll, necessarily. Uh, so, I think... I think uh, we'll just get right on into it. First off, I should probably unlock some some things here. Yeah, I get tutorialized, baby. Yeah, get through that tutorial, baby. All right, so the necessities. So obviously, the power sphere, the power box, the uh, wooden structure set, campfire. Uh, absolutely want the bow and the arrows because that's one of my favorite weapons in the game. Uh, we should probably get the pal bed unlocked. And I got one more. So I might as well just go ahead and put the repair kit bench there. There we go. Okay, I think we've got everything we need. Yay. Let's make some new friends, then make them do all the work for us, fight for us, commit to the set of war crimes for us, and then we eat them when they've uh, outlived their usefulness. Yes, Deviant Fish knows exactly how to play this game. <laughs> oh, game. I'm sorry. I thought he was talking about real life for a moment. <laughs> yes, game. <laughs> Alright, gotta punch this rock to get some stone so we can start putting together our tools. Punch that rock. I've never been on this side of this area before. Really? Yeah, I usually, usually if I start up here, I just start heading down immediately to get deeper into the world. Well, I mean, we will. I don't expect to start our base Oh, yet, sure. But, you know, opening <laughs> the sound of us punching the crap out of this boulder. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right, I'm going to temporarily put down the workbench here. So that way we can actually get some tools. Yay. All right, so... Two stone pickaxes in production now. Yoink. Yoink. Okay, now we... Need some more stone for the wood. Choppity choppity. I'll drop what I got for you. Oh, no worries. Just build it. It's fine. Okay. We're working together. Uh, it's all good. What, are we, what am I building again? Uh, next up would be the... Actually, I'll, I have enough of the stone axe, so I'm going to do two of those. Or I can make one of those now. 
So I'll make my stone axe and you can make yours. Okay. Doink. Okay. Is a new way for anger management? Absolutely right, Teacup. I mean, what better way to manage your anger than to brutally punch rocks? <laughs> you know what? Pickaxes are just smarter. Eventually, we are going to get to a point where we won't have to do any of this menial labor. <laughs> What do I need for the bow? I need some more wood and some fiber. Okay. Yes. All right, so I'm gonna knock on some trees here in a minute. Uh, but yeah, this game is extremely fun. Like it's, it starts off like every other survival sandbox you've ever played in your entire life, but. It doesn't take long for it to really show a lot of its hand, especially with the whole pals capturing and management thing. Like, oops, I am, I am, I am chunky walking. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Just build another workbench where you are. <laughs> you know what? It's, that's that's extremely smart. I should do that. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Our workbenches shall blot out the sun. <laughs> then we will build in the shade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and make a torch real quick. Also, uh, just for anyone who is curious on why I'm carrying a male body type when I'm clearly a female, it's because the clothes on Power World are sexist. They and I don't, super are, yeah. And I do not enjoy having thighs and arms exposed. Cover me the fuck up. There are dangerous <laughs> animals. Oh, right, I'm so sorry. There we go. Yay! <laughs> Alright, put one in the swear jar. Hold Yay. on. Perfect. All right. All right, cover me up. There are dangerous animals that scratch and bite. And also shoot lasers and all sorts of other crazy nonsense. Like, they, the, the animals in this game are not just your regular animals. No, they are not. They are here to make sure you don't encroach on their territory <laughs> except for the uh the, the the sheepy boys those guys are just their fodder oh yeah they're just they're just there oh well, i don't know why i didn't bring this up but uh oh okay it didn't i i thought that was like a a subscription thing but hikari is on a five stream watch streak i didn't know that they were counting that now that's weird oh yeah they 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 count that now <laughs> Okay, congratulations, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the pals are all out of bubblegum. Absolutely correct. It's so true. 100% right. Okay. Uh, I need more fiber and wood, which means I need to chop down another tree or two. So, go ahead and do that. Hopefully I won't... Oh, you know what? I should enhance my stats. Which, of course, the most important one is the weight. Yes, good call. It's like, you can have more stamina, you can have more health. Yes, but what about stuffing more crap into my pockets? <laughs> <laughs> Let me carry more things, please. I have many balls to carry. <laughs> I have so many pal spheres and arrows. I'm envisioning a bunch of dwarves singing, and we punch, and we punch, and we punch, and we punch. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> a punching we will go, a punching we will go. Alright, so. That's like, what, three times, so. We're all out of wood, we go to punching we will go. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just couldn't leave that song hanging unfinished. Right? I really couldn't. I no. don't blame you. I do not blame you one bit. Genuinely. <laughs> it's like, must quickly come up with rhyme before unfunny. <laughs> <laughs> the iron is cooling. Strike it now. <laughs> <laughs> Cast it into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... A little bit of initial tedium. I do appreciate how we are just like in maximum 
Uh, efficiency mode is like slap down a bunch of tables, make things, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, clearly, I very much got into it that I forgot we were streaming for a second. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't hurt my feelings one bit. That's this is good. I, uh, I this game really is. I, I mean, you could really say that a lot of, about a lot of survival games, certainly, but this one definitely is better when you have somebody alongside. Oh, one thousand percent. Like, I was. I, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to make anyone upset by this, but I was kind of sad when we all kind of like collectively lost interest in uh, Pal World together, which was understandable for what happened at the time. Yeah, for sure. But, I, but uh, I'm I'm very glad to be able to get back into it. With, oh yeah, with ever with you especially. Yeah, I'm I'm delighted to be back into it. Like I said, the the new island that's going to be releasing and all the other stuff that's coming out has got my interest back up in this game again and you know as we kind of mentioned before we we really need some distraction until next week so <laughs> <laughs> it's so true i'm gonna try and catch these in uh lambles oh yeah absolutely we're gonna need those uh I'm gonna need them boys oh, bonk this kitty oh this kitty is after oh is that your kitty that's my kitty. Oh, you caught a kitty, right? I caught a cat. Okay. I should do that myself, actually. First things first. Spending a step point. I'm sorry. I just. I'm like doing a little bit of menuing and I'm hearing like a mournful sheep's cry as I'm doing it. <laughs> this game was in nearly every Twitch channel I watched for about two weeks and everyone went back to their main games. Yeah. It did b pop off pretty hard, but like also, also like it's still a fun game regardless. Like it's it may have settled in the wider popular zeitgeist, but it's still like really quite good. And I kind of feel like once the new uh, update comes out or the new island releases, that's probably gonna see it raise up a little bit more one more time. For what it's worth as well, this is still like the bet my favorite sandbox survival game oh period. yeah for sure it's just really unique enough and and actually because uh if you guys had read our uh, our um uh massively overthinking it was about uh stigmas based around our genre about mmos and multiplayer games and mmorpgs and like this game is one of those that really sort of destroyed my presumption about every survival sandbox was a lazy cash grab, you know, underdeveloped and under just something that wasn't thought through. This one, like, sure, it's it's cribbing off of a lot. It's it's let's not be let's let's not beat around the bush. But also, it has enough unique things going for it where like it just it's its own totally different thing, and I love that. I want you to understand that I heard you explain all that while I was pushing a dead lamble off a cliff and watching it bounce down the <laughs> land below. And I was just like, yes, yes, good, this fits. <laughs> wow, that really got him, chat. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> that... Damn! <laughs> That's so twisted. I love it. It's... <laughs> Here I was like, man, man, this game is really unique, and it totally changed my mind about survival boxes. Meanwhile, my best friend is like kick corpse downhill. <laughs> <laughs> Casual lamb murder for the win. Euros for all. Yes. <laughs> you know what? I'm okay with having <laughs> having a ready supply of Euro filling. Oh, goodness. That was very funny. Oh, you know what? I should improve my tech points here. Hang on a second. So the hanging trap is completely useless. The alarm bell is useless. We regrettably will have to create a feed box. Uh, cloth outfit. Shield, absolutely. 
I'm working on getting cloth so that we can get outfits. Brilliant. Uh, let's see. Definitely need to unlock the Statue of Power. Al Gear Workbench, yes, absolutely. Um, Got to do a berry plantation. Probably should unlock the ranch, but I figure we'll probably use that a little sparingly, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. All right, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Real life, torturing small animals is a warning sign. Video game, core skill. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Completely accurate. Oh, goodness. That's... All right, uh, let's see. Can... You feel the oh, love tonight. tonight. All right. <laughs> okay, I was going to... All right, I, I should probably go to where you are. At. Where, where, where'd you go? I'm coming up to you, actually. I okay. just got all the cloth for the outfits, and we're going to need them real soon. Yeah, okay, sweet. So like I said earlier, this has been set to some custom rules. The day is longer and the nights are shorter. That sounds like a, a that sounds like a Jimmy Buffett slash meatloaf song. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the days are longer and the nights are shorter. Margaritaville. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but all the same, yes, we are going to need those cloth outfits. So it's it's. Oh, there you are. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> straight up snuck up behind me. <laughs> Oops, Sneaky I didn't mean to acquire cat that. I'll, I should drop those there. Hang on a second. I, there we go. Alright. I was trying to help you craft, but I ended up, like, yoinking the cloth. Here we go. Now I can help you work. There we go. This is a nice rule. Playing in the dark is not fun except for horror games. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the torches... You. Thank you. The, the torches are okay. Um, but, like, just having the having the uh, daytimes made longer is just... It's just more my style. There you are. Yeah! See, this is so much better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? I, I'll just deal with my pantslessness. It's fine. No, you know, it's fine. At least she's wearing shorts. Yeah, true. <laughs> so, you know, there's that. The small victories. <laughs> we'll take those very tiny wins. <laughs> uh, so let, we should think about building a base, I think. Yes, I think so. So let's go ahead and break these down then, I suppose. Okay. I, we have a disassembly going around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Wow. <laughs> Gee, can you tell it's been a minute? <laughs> How do I disassemble? <laughs> you go into build mode and then see. Right. Okay, there it is. Yeah. It's been a minute. It's been a while, so it's been a while, so it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, what are you thinking about? I was, I was looking at that rocky flat area over there. Oh, yeah, perfect. Awesome. I'm down for that. The same item looks different. Why are the colors different? I don't know. That's that's a weird... That's a good point. The The color schemes are... Well, they're kind of similar. Except for, you know, I have, like, this purple o bad obi thing, and you've got, like, a blue sash. Oh, well. Mm-hmm. I have no idea. It's a bit weird. It's a little bit. That's okay. So I apologize for my friend looking a little janky on my end of the things. Uh, the online multiplayer still is a little bit, a uh, little bit, a little bit of wobbly, I guess I, we'll say. But I don't think we're gonna make that swim, actually. All right, so let's see if there's any way we can. Hmm. I we can make I can get the technology to make parachutes. I think if we parachute over to that beach along the northwest. Yeah. Or actually, well, 
Well, maybe. Whoa. <laughs> I was walked off the edge. We might be able to. We. Hmm. I did. I have our. I have our stamina degradation. Uh. Improved. So I don't know. Well, That's true. It's worth we'll a shot. Give it a try. Look at this simul chopping. Look at this. Look, look at this. So efficient. Hi. It's not like we're going to lose anything if we die anyway, so... Yeah, exactly. I, I, that's another thing I've said. The, if we die, nothing will drop, so, you know. Alright, I'll have you work on wood. I'm going to go looking for lambles. Right oh. Alright, I went ahead and increase my uh, carrying capacity again. Deep in my pockets, and let's see, check, what should we get next? Uh, oh, I have no pal spheres. That's bad. I can. I have some. Come back to me. I'll drop them for you. I threw my last one at the workbench trying to learn how to disassemble. I've got the 14 setting right here for you, friend. Thank you, friend. Wouldn't be a bad base right here, actually. You don't think so? I mean, there's an iron deposit right there in the middle. Okay, yeah. Pretty flat and... ground. Yeah. Okay, sure. We can establish a, a, a beachhead here. Yeah, <laughs> that's... I like that. <laughs> I know you're, like, holding a weapon, but it looks like you're straight up just punching that lamb ball. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> like just pew, pew, pew. <laughs> get in the ball and soften the mutton <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm going to go on ahead and start building here so yeah hey i'm building here hey yo yo all right, so we'll put the house sphere there. Ta da! Huzzah! All right. So now I think I've got like a whole bunch of wood, so I think I should start putting down some infrastructure. So... I'm going to be carrying all Kativas to increase my carrying capacity. Nice. <laughs> Oops, all Kativas. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Uh, I'm trying to put a little forethought into what goes where here. So I think... You know what we need in What's this that? early game? A butcher knife. You know what? You're not wrong. We should totally do that. I'm looking at where it is now. Can't be that far up, can it? I don't remember it being too far away. Or pretty, I remember it being a pretty early thing. Ah, uh, level twelve. Okay. Nah, that won't be. That oh. won't take too long. So. I'm gonna put down in workbenches then. Okay, I'll call this. I'll call this our crafting spot then. Sweet. I was literally thinking like putting it down right here next to a rock. So. Nice. That's great. Thank you, friend. Pleasure. Right, that'll be a good oh. start for now. Did you just throw? <laughs> you know what? I get it. I totally understand. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish mining this rock. Oh, you know what? I should. Uh, before I do that, I should probably get some storage down. Hang on a second here. I'm working on our parachutes now. Sweet. Seems a visitor is heading towards the base. That's nice. Go away. <laughs> okay. 
call this storage central for now. It's gonna always be a arranged or rearranged later. Sure. Oh, there's a new chest setting section. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so like you can like delineate what specifically goes into the chest. Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That is amazing Incredible. and well needed. Desperately well needed. My goodness, dude. That's Oh, that's brilliant. All right. So in that case, I'm going to call this uh let's say so we'll put wood, stone, and ores in here for now. This parachute is yours, friend. Thank you. I'll be right there to collect in just one second. Yoink. Thank you. Yep. Whee. Whee. That's, Yippee. that's so good. I'm so, I, aw. Oh. That was not a thing when we were first playing this game, Chad, just for the record. That's, that is, it uh. That's brand new. And it was hell beforehand. It because really was. Because the pals would just dump any old thing into any old chest. Yep. A feature I and wanted in I... Minecraft for years. Yeah, seriously, Teacup. I'm going to put up a fence around the... Is Are fences a thing? Uh, walls are. Uh, nah. unless, let me see if I can unlock just, some fences. Hang on. Nah, it's fine. I I just just we don't cover up the middle of the base is all as long as we room. I think they also have like ore resources now. Like yeah, there's an ore generating thing actually. Okay, so it's it, early game. It's important, but it won't be that bad later on. Which it, also great. Thank you. Uh, who are the developers for Power World again? Po Pocket Pair. Pocket pair. Thank you, pocket pair. Yeah, that's that's great. I, I actually now that I think on it, I'm trying to figure out where the where that buildable is. Uh, plus plus twelve. Uh, yeah, what are you looking for? I was looking for where that um, or harvesting ah. thing is at. What level it's at. Probably going to be a little while, if, if I had to guess. Uh, I see it. Ancient technologies. Oh, it is an ancient technology. Okay. So the egg incubator. Uh, or mining site 2. Yep. Level 15 uh, is when I... Okay. So level 15. Ah, okay. Sweet. It's not too bad. That's not far away at all. Really not. Okay. Amazing. Also, our guest is here. Oh, yes. What are you selling? What are you buying? buying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, wow, there's some stuff that actually has some some worth here. That's nice. Electric skill fute lock-on laser? Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, lock-on laser is fun. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by there, uh, our, our dapper-headed friend. All right. I need more stone to create. I can give you stone. Sweet. Air dropping in. <laughs> Yoink. Cool. All right, let me go ahead and <laughs> slowly <laughs> make my way over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so common shield. Woods. Now you're stoned. All right, so wood, stone, and ores are in this first one. Um, I wonder. I should probably put ingots in this one too. I uh, set this one open to ingots as well, or. Or should we just I leave? wouldn't mind that. Okay. All right. 
And then this next one that I'll build. This I'm will be gonna... the food box. Yeah. Food box. Food box. Food box, baby. <laughs> food box, baby, food <laughs> box. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uncheck all. This will be ingredients and food specifically. Oh, that's so good, dude. Oh, that changes literally everything. Cause <laughs> just like I, it, I can't begin to tell you how maddening it is to see things like lined up in such a way that you assume that like the the pal pathing will like know like. There's a box near the food thing. I should pro near the uh, berry plantation. I should probably put the berries into this box. Nope, I'm gonna walk all the hecking way over this way, and just it, yeah. drop it in there. It's, uh, it's just it's aggravating. So if they can't bother to fix the pathing of the ca characters, why not just? This is an elegant solution. It's really really good. Also, fires get very hot now, and it can actually cause damage. Really? Apparently, I'm gonna build the campfire underneath these wooden tr underneath these trees. I'm sure that'll be no problem. All right, let's see how it goes. Maybe they fixed it. Oh yeah, no, I just, it's not as hot. But it is it does make you hotter like when you were when i was wearing metal armor in my single player game that then it caused me damage but oh i'm gonna get some lamb ball kebabs going actually <laughs> another game where mop has to empirically test whether fire is hot <laughs> <laughs> you shut up <laughs> Silence you. <laughs> How dare you speak the truth? <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna go looking for palladium deposits so I can get those to mine more pal spheres. Sweet. Sounds good. Oop, my weapon is damaged. I guess I should repair that, hey? <laughs> It'd be helpful. Alright, then that means I need to build a repair thing. Or did I not unlock that? Hang on a second. Did I not unlock that? It's something you ba it should be something you get. Oh, the repair on, bench, on yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what you need. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down since, you know, apparently that's a thing we're going to have to worry about now. Darn. Heck. That's always been a thing. I know. I know. I know. Oh. oh, okay. <laughs> Just my brain going. Burp <laughs> burp. Just, just a little burr. Just a treat. <laughs> Fire pretty, tree bad. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Kari gets it. Absolutely. Yes. That's, that's, that's. That's the rule. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and air that. There we go. Perfect. Let me go ahead and drop that on in here. I think we're good. Fire is indeed still hot, but not hot enough to burn these trees. So we're in good shape there. Just gonna finish off this ore, ore deposit here. Extra ore is usually a good thing. All right. Nope.
Okay, so this chest also can take, because I guess caldium, well, that wouldn't make sense. It's an ore, so so the the chest that has, like, the stone wooden ores can also collect the paldium, too. Collect the what? The paldium. The, the oh, stuff gotcha, you need to make gotcha. the paldium. <laughs> Alright, I've got a solid chunk of that. I'm coming back. Sweet. Extra ore. Wait for it. Denary. Denary. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. Well well played, Hikari. Excellent work. Nicely done. Take your joke. Wait for it. And leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we sh should I? I sh feel like we should probably unlock the crusher too. That seems useful. Yes, absolutely. Um, kind of about all I want to unlock as far as tech right now. I'm gonna sit on my points for just a brief moment so I can get to like some of the better stuff, like the the hot spring, for example, or yeah, the three shot I, bow. I get. Three shot bow is king. It's so good. I love that. Also, with these current parachutes, there is no way we would have made the fly the flight over to the flat rock over there. So, so I think we found a good good base. So, I think I think this is a great place to go. Perfect. And yep, I do have enough for another shield for you. Yay! Also, uh, I believe you can now uh, just press it once instead of holding the craft button now, or you have to turn it turn on it turn it on in a setting. Is there a setting for that? There is. There is. I oh, have it. Hang on. A second. I have I'm it gonna, turned on. I'm gonna change that real quick. Hang on. Where is it? It's gonna be uh, game settings. Hold to toggle interaction. Hold to toggle interaction. On? On. Okay, yeah, okay. That's That wasn't immediately clear. All right, sweet. So, like, I sh should be able to craft a bunch of PAL spheres now. Oh, dude. Oh, that's... Uh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've been stood here just smooshing in the F key for this entire time. That's... Yep, I, I understand. That's way better. <laughs> Perfect. I don't know why that wasn't a thing to begin with, or if it was. I don't think it was, actually, now I think on it. It was not. It was added in, like, one of the first patches they put in. Brilliant. Uh, are you good on pal spheres? Do you need some? I have no pal spheres whatsoever. I gave them all to you because you're out there hunting. You, you get you, you get you some. Yay! Now I can throw <laughs> legally indistinct pokeballs. Yay! Yay. <laughs> all right, it's starting to get dark. We should probably start thinking about making some beds, huh? Yes, I would agree. Okay. We need wool and wood for that. Yep, and I need to get to level 15 for the butcher's knife, or I need to go find more uh, lamb bowls, because we need cloth. I'll join you in, in finding some lamb bowls. Alrighty. It's time for a lamb ball hunt. I mean, no, no, I meant that. That's exactly what I meant. <laughs> I appreciate you bringing the torch as well. Yeah, well, you know. After. Because the night is dark and full of semi terrors? At this stage, not too much terrible, but all the same, the darkness definitely is real. It's true. I don't know that we're going to find many on this edge of these cliffs here. 
we will uh, as soon as we get over here, it's going to lead into a clearing where yeah. Okay, perfect. Ah, uh, look at them. Look at all of them. <laughs> look at all them wool boys. Average teacup ass. If both of you sleep, will the game skip the night? Yes, it will. Yep. Oh, that's no good. I caught my first land ball. Yay. Yay. Be able to just catch these while they're sleeping. Yeah. Oops, I missed. There we go. Oh, how dare. Ow. There we go. That should work. What you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, Mark. You want to my friend, Papa? Yeah. Yeah. Cool guys don't look at their uh, their house fear working. It's true. Too much. <laughs> I mean, I'm holding the torch. I might as well use it for something. True. Yeah. Where? I'm right there with you. I'm up the hill. Oh, okay. <laughs> just a little, just a little smack on the face just before it gets tossed. That throw. I have four spheres left. Actually, I think the one I, I just 13. hooked is over here. No, that's just Paladin. Might as well go and get it anyway. Yeah, um, I have thirteen wool. Nice. Okay. And for the bed, we need. Oh yeah, we got plenty. <laughs> yeah, so we can head back in a time. We can head back to base. Sweet. Alright, so we'll just do it. I'll have you uh, fly down here so you can get this lift monk effigy. Oh, sweet. Yes. Thank you. Ta-da! Uh, as my first combat animal, I'll go ahead and cat. I'm gonna catch one of these Hookities. Hookities are awesome. I I enjoy them. Little 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 spooky owl boys. I think I'll join you in one of them too. Why not? Get him, kitty. Ow. This might be okay. Up. Oh. Yay! Woohoo! Perfect. <laughs> Coward and destructive. That's not a dangerous cat. Not at all. No, definitely not. <laughs> Those are perfectly salient traits for a kitty. <laughs> So yeah, my, my torch goes away when I'm climbing, which, I mean, on the one hand, makes sense, but on the other hand, mm. <laughs> don't like. 
do not want. Come on. Almost there. there. we go. Okay. There we go. Yeah, not too much further. <laughs> Hello, wandering merchant. Are you stuck here? I bet that they are. Oh, well. Sucks to suck. Anyway, bye. <laughs> See ya. Should be able to glide on over now from here. Or at least get close. Hey, nice. And there's the sun coming up. <laughs> no, well, that, that figures. <laughs> well, it does give us a good test bed to realize how fa how the time and day day and night cycle works. So that's that's not bad. No, this is this is quite nice. That's that's good information. I think at some point, though, it may be necessary to adjust the day-night cycle in case we want to catch more, like, yeah, night pal. You're right. I forgot that there are certain pals that come out at night. Mm. Can I change that live? I don't know that I can. I, not live, no. You have to hop out of the game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. All right, our Lambo kebabs are ready. Yay. <laughs> Control path for you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. And I'll go ahead and put the cloth in such a way. I don't think I specified anything for cloth yet, so I can like create a new box specifically for that once I get some wood. No worries. I'm going to repair my weapons. That's an arrow. There we go. That's the axe. All right. I'm paying attention to the HUD. I was just like, sort of like, guessing as like, this is probably an arrow. Uh, this is probably an axe that my character is holding, right? Hey, friend, look towards the horizon. Tell me if you see this too. Do you see the sun in front of the moon? Oh, wow, I do. What? That's... Huh. <laughs> okay, that's... That, that seems weird. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. Hmm. Oh, hey, there's an egg just sat here, I didn't realize. Little egg. It's just, it's just a large egg. Just a just a chunky guy. All right. A real friend inside. Or a large friend. <laughs> Okay, I'll make this the cloth box. Organization. It saves you so much time in games like these. True. All right. Um, I don't see anything specifically that says cloth, so I'm going to assume other materials will be okay. I'll test it. All right. Give it a shot. Nope. No? Uh, maybe ingredients? Maybe. Let's try that. I thought ingredients would assume food. Give it a shot. Nope. Okay. I'm going to see if it works in one of these other ones. Nope. Oh, wait. Cloth is a material. Wool is a material, I mean. Oh, okay. So then... Other materials? All right, let's see if that works. Nope. That's weird. Other accessory spheres and ingredients. Maybe, no, not ingredients. We already need to production. that. Production goods, Production goods, I'm going to try maybe? production goods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. Heck. I think it's a pow mat Oh. I bet you're right. It's a bet. It's a Get pal material. Lambs. It... Ah. Yep, that did it. All right. So pal materials and other materials will be this this chest then. Yep. Perfect. Sounds good to me. All right. Go ahead and put the wool right. that I collected there too. And the wood. I 
any cloth. Oh wow, actually all of my stuff is leveling up even though I'm not the one helping crafting. That's... I forgot that was a thing. Everyone wins. <laughs> I'd love to see it. Alright, so what tech should I unlock next? Uh, the hot spring. Oh yes, three shot bow. Absolutely. And the primitive furnace. But I also do need nails, I believe. And I'm gonna put I I put the cloth in the No, that won't work. I it's on a cloth is under production goods. I don't know if you want to make a separate chest for that. Maybe? It might, Up to you. We might want to. We're going to have to start thinking this out, aren't we, a little bit? Hmm. Oh, the beds take wool, not cloth. Oh, did you eat the wool? I ate it all. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. I'm off to go. I'm off to go destroy more lambs. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I don't need pal spheres. They're going to die. <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, you know what? I think I'm going to change. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Also, that merchant is definitely just stuck there forever. Uh, well, that's that's their problem. That's convenient for us. Indeed it is. All right, so I'm going to create a second chest that's as close as possible to the crafting table that we have now and have that specifically for ingots and production. Sounds good to me. And if we need to change that or expand that or anything like that, it's not a, not a hassle to like change and shift these things around. It's not a big deal. All right, what do I need in order to craft? Actually, let's see. Yeah, I need flame organs, stone, and wood for the for the furnace. Can you craft shears? Uh, no, but what you can do is you can put down a ranch and like toss a lamb ball into it, and it will produce wool. So yep, <laughs> that is a thing that can absolutely be done. Uh, but the thing is, and I'll just go ahead and show it off. Oh, I can't actually place it. But it's really huge. Like the the range is like <gasps> massive. What? I just got I just found a shiny fox parks. Ooh, sweet. Grab it. Oh, I have okay. Yeah, you it's need help? Vegas for your time. Oh, okay. I've I've got a I I need a so my HUD disappears sometimes and I don't like that. Not like a glitch, but just like it fades out. Oh yeah, that that's just a whoops. Didn't mean to call you out. Sorry. Um, Two. Okay. I'm just I'm just gonna try and hit it with the axe. I I can come over and help. I have a bow and arrow. Yes, please. All right, I'm coming. Uh, is that? Yeah, there you are. Okay, I can, uh, you're. It's gonna take me a little bit. Give me a minute. <laughs> no worries. I'm coming. Just just keep weather on on the boy. Oh, oh! The, there's there's another Fox Parks that saw the fight and is just like, no, don't hurt, don't hurt my dad, <laughs> my dad, don't hurt my dad, don't hurt my dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is gonna. I'm I'm sort of halfway there. Just I'm 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 coming. Ooh, egg. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not distracted. I found an egg. Your best friend is dying. This isn't about her. <laughs> <laughs> it's a damp egg. Help! Damp egg. <laughs> oh, come on, please. 
So why? What? Ugh. All right. By the time I get there, you're just going to have it handled, uh, frankly. I'm not really attacking it because there's lots of other things here that are attacking me, too. Okay. Well, here I come. I'm going to try and catch this small fox parks. Not do that. All right, big boys. All, All right, right, here we go. Engaging. I'm slowly dying of heat. Whoa, that's new. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've been dealing with. You got a special move because he's shiny. Indeed. Hold attacks. Copy. Got it. Yeah. Slow the dying of heat. In game or yes? <laughs> <sighs> Got it. Well done. Glad I was able to contribute. Thank you, friend. You were absolutely needed there. That purple attack was scary. That really was. That that looked very, very bad. No, don't, don't, stop. The, oh man, the, the, the tree frog stickiness, I forgot about that. Just immediately cling onto all the surfaces. Love Fox Sparks, don't use them anymore, but they're adorable. They're amazing early game. And this one, I have two, so one's gonna stay at the base and the other one's staying with me. Please climb the rock, you silly, silly girl. There we go. Sheesh. I'm a I'm a bonk on this ore for a little bit just because you know ore. Or what? Or <laughs> jelly of your shiny. <laughs> that was a pretty good shiny find. That, that was very lucky. I would I was honestly expecting like something trash like a worm bowl, but uh, that was literally the first fox parks I had seen this save, and it was a shiny, and I was just like I need. Must have. Plus, I'm level 15, which means I can get that butcher thing. Sweet. Wait, no, it was the ore mining site that was at 15. Ore mining site at 15 technology, yeah. The butcher knife is 12. Oh, it is. I will get that. Okay, I think I've bonked on that enough. I'm going to go ahead and head on home and deposit what I've collected. Copy that. I'm going to get a primitive furnace going. Sounds good. We need... Do you have fire organs in that, I assume? Uh... Yes. Sweet. All right. Yeah, you were battling a bunch just, of fox sparks earlier. So. I just need stone now. Okay. I. There should be a bunch in the in the chest. Our chest is low, so I'm just gonna bonk at these uh, resource nodes. Okay. Sweet. And there's some chest stones over here, so I'll do that too. Sometimes I have the five. I hate the five pound limit in your person. Like I can't decide on just five. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Seriously. True. So true. Very, very real. Uh, the whole fact that you need, you can only carry five along. I kind of hope that they change that maybe later. But all right, more stone and ore and paldium going in there. So we have 144 ore. 44 stone sat there too. Where do you want the furnace? Oh, I figure we... Wherever, it's fine. Anywhere you like. Okay. I'm just going to set it next to the workbench, the repair bench, then. Perfect. 
Oops, I'm holding down the F button. Like, I, can't, I forgot the sound. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to do that anymore. I don't need to do it. I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> it's going to take a while for me to forget that muscle memory, though. That's for sure. I mean, I was the same way at the beginning of this save. All right. I'm going to get a little Fox Parks out. I don't know what Kitty was thinking about doing there, but, you know. All right, I'm going to head and... Uh... Oh, Chuck we need boy. a. I'm gonna get a bed down for our boy as well. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it. I'm gonna have him sleep right next to the fire so that he can keep warm. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Fox Parks get cold. I've got him started on something. It's right now. Wait. I'm going to upgrade our PAL box. Sweet. Yay. Also, don't forget, we can fast travel back to that point so we don't have to walk along the cliffs the whole time anymore. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. I forgot about that. I forgot, I forgot about it, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I should probably put down the hot spring then. I need some more wood. Which I have in the storage here. Yoinkus. Is this your cat? No. Oh, this is my cat. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Get out of there. Do I not? Wait. Hang on a second. Oh, I just need some. Oh, yeah. No, it's not a problem. There's trees here. I can just jump out the tree. We'll call this the, uh... oh, I need PAL fluids. That's what I'm missing. Whoops. Okay. Right. I need to find some, some water boys to bonk on. Oh, that's right. I keep on forgetting that this game has, like, craft from storage. That's, that's right. You're, you have yeah, completely forgot about that, Arkhamar. Thank you. Uh, it's, I played a bunch of other survival games, but that was not the case. So I was immediately like, <laughs> "Hold wood in pocket for thing to work." Yep, I get that. Ooh, hang on a second. Let me see who that was because I didn't have it. Yeah, thank you very much for the follow, Arkamar. Hello and welcome. Good to have you. Thank you for that support. We hope we will tune in for other streams later on, friend. Thank you. Very, very cool. Oh, I just saw a new thing in the ancient technology. What's that? Ring of Mercy, pacifist ring. The wearer's attacks will not reduce the target's health below one. That's right. They did add that a while ago. I forgot. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, I forgot the Ring of Mercy. That's right. I mean, you still have to, like, call your pal away, I assume, but... Okay, we have ingots. Go ahead and drop those into this production chest here. There we go. You know what? This boy is going to be standing here and blowing fire into the furnace for a little while. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. Speaking of boys. Hiya! Nope. Hiya! Yeah! Yes. Okay, I should probably then, now I think on it, I should probably build the PAL gear workbench because that's how you get a saddle for that boy. Correct. I need two cloth. I can get you two cloth. I, I have it. I okay. need to put it in a box. Did you specify a box for cloth yet? Did you want to put it in this one? Yeah, we can do that. That's fine. All right. This will turn this will turn it on for production goods. Okay. There you go. Sweet. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put that on down. Put that 
down right over here. Oh my god. The fox fox jumps when I do. Yeah, all your pals jump when you jump. Yeah. I've never noticed that before. Yeah, it's super adorable. I love it. It's a wonderfully unnecessary feature. Jump around, jump around, jump up, jump up, and get down. Yeah. All right. I need more flame organs and some leather. Okay. So that'll be a minute. That'll be a while. But uh, uh, but at least now you, it's, we have the stuff we need to, to make it happen. Very much so. I'm going to dump some of my stuff off. I'll put the cloth I mean that chest and this chest and the one over here are both set for production goods but it never hurts to have two places for that stuff to go no I mean and especially just... when like they all can be pulled <laughs> exactly so it's just as well all right it seems like a pretty good start honestly I mean I, this is an amazing start. <laughs> More specifically, that's an amazing start. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> oh man, I'm glad you were able to join me this time around. Truly, friend. Thank I, you. I was I was very excited, and I lo and I hopped on the opportunity as soon as I saw there was one. Yes. Well, well, I don't know. Well, I feel like we'll add this to our regular rotation, even if it's not a sandbox Saturday. Event. I, I think I, I would like that a lot. For sure. Well, anyway, thank you so very much for tuning in. A very special thank you again to Britannia for joining me. It was a pleasure being here, and I'm sure I'll be here again for it. <laughs> Absolutely. We have a lot more streams for the rest of the week, like usual. On Sunday, June 23rd at 2 p.m. Eastern, it is the final Eorzea Sunday before Dog Trail. Can you believe it? <laughs> Can you believe it, Chad? It's finally happening. It's happening. The time has gone exactly how we expected it to, but it's finally happening. Huzzah! Uh, so that'll be at 2 o'clock Eastern on Monday, June 24th at 2 p.m. Eastern, just because I feel like shooting things in a video game. I'll be uh, checking back in on Starship Troopers Extermination. And then on Tuesday, June 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern, the Queen of Stream is back on her throne and she will be playing some guild wars 2 so we hope you'll tune in for all of that thank you so much for tuning in today and like always thank you to everyone for all of the support you provide to massively overpowered whether you're watching our streams live or on demand reading what we have to write on the website or if you're doing generous things like donating bits to the channel subscribing to the channel whitelisting the ads on the site or if you're one of our amazing patreon supporters no matter what you do top to bottom you are the field that keeps massively op going we will see you tomorrow. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Bye! Bye. Shiny Fox Parks. Shiny Fox Parks.